our Minnesota Vikings. And th- I know Ziggy has some some hot takes on, on the Vikings draft, but it really, you know, the Vikings draft was round one with J.J. McCarthy. Uh, they trade up again from 23 to go get Dallas Turner, the uh, Alabama edge rusher. A lot of people thought might be the best defensive player in the draft. At least I know my dad did. And uh, <laughs> and this Vikings team now who re- was searching for an identity after after Kirk Cousins was gone. We knew it was going to be a quarterback. We know they loved Drake May. They tried to go up for him. To get J.J. McCarthy without mortgaging the entire future, in my eyes, that was a huge, huge win. Would you agree with that, Ziggy? I think they got punked moving up to 10, but yes. No, I mean, it was getting J.J. McCarthy there. I said he was going to fall to 11. I think he would have fallen to 11. But regardless, they didn't. They could have gotten nervous and traded up to four or five for him, and they just didn't. And they didn't have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- that was the huge win to me was maintaining the first round pick next year because next year, next year the Vikings have what three picks? I think currently they'll get compensatory picks for Cousins and Hunter probably in the third round. Uh, but as of right now, they only have three picks next year. If you, if you listen to, uh, I saw it to one of someone tweeted at us our show and said, if you really zoom out at the Vikings first round this year they got jj mccarthy dallas turner a sixth round pick this year and a seventh round pick this year in with all their trades they traded away look at this check they traded away number 11 second rounder this year second rounder next year third rounder next year fourth rounder this year fourth rounder next year two fifth rounders this year and a sixth rounder this year all of that for mccarthy dallas turner and the sixth and seventh round picks I mean, that is, that's a lot. (laughs) That is a lot to give up. My counter to it is if JJ McCarthy is good, no one cares. No one cares at all if McCarthy works out. I mean, JJ McCarthy was my, my number one pick. I was going to say, you, yeah, I'm I'm surprised that you weren't, that you weren't all over this because you, yeah, you said you were taking them number, like, you know, I think the Vikings are a, uh, well, I I knew that you, I knew that that was was going to be your winner. So I didn't want (laughs) to, I don't want to share the same winner as you, but I'm, I'm going to sort of win in the North now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's that's what we want to hear on this show. But no, you actually, but you like JJ McCarthy. Right? I like I him think, a lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. No, and okay. it's again, I don't have any problem with the JJ McCarthy pick. The problem was it seemed they thought the Patriots might be willing to play ball and trade it up to twenty three. That already wasn't great because it didn't work out. They weren't able to go up for May, and then packaging tons of future draft capital to get Dallas Turner, who by all counts, I mean he's a good player. Right. But we're not talking about a genuine elite. We're not talking about a generational or genuinely elite edge prospect. Right. This isn't like Will Anderson last year. It's not like we're moving up from Miles Garrett. Mm -hmm. It's a good, not great prospect. And you're giving up so much to do it. I I understand why. Like he could be great. Of course he could be. Right. But I'm just saying, like, it's not like we're moving up here for an elite prospect. We're moving up for one of the better edge prospects in this draft. Clearly, there's some dispute about who was the best. And, you know, the consensus was high on him. Fair enough. And if you assume that they were trading up for like the seventh, eighth, or ninth pick, then it makes more sense. But they got him at 17. But here's and the, the thing, reason though, they got him at 17 was because the rest of the NFL doesn't think he's all that good. Well, no, 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 no. Part of it, though, is that a lot of the NFL went crazy on offense. There was an insane run on quarterbacks. I mean, the de- like we just said it. Teams were desperate yeah. this year. Yeah, but other teams were calling to trade up, right? The reason the Vikings got to move up is because they thought better than the team they traded with. Mm-hmm. And they thought better than every other team in the NFL. Yeah, I, look, I, I was, I'm very happy with Turner because in mo- most of the time, I do think that he is a top 10, 12 selection. I just think this year was crazy where you had 13 dudes. I mean, 13 offensive players. It was a record. Went before any defensive player. I, so I, I was pretty happy with that. Um, but one thing, you know, that a lot of people are talking about with the Vikings right now is that they were the place to go for a rookie quarterback. People talked to, yeah. I think McCarthy yeah, even we've said, said that too. Yeah, we've said that. Times. Everyone said it. Everyone said between Jefferson, Addison, Aaron Jones, Hawkinson, like the Vikings offense, great offensive line, Kevin O'Connell. People are just saying that any rookie that goes in there is going to succeed. I actually want to pump the brakes on that. Like we've seen, there's no, there's no system. I mean, Shanahan's the closest it's been, but we've seen quarterbacks. Yeah. Like bad hey, quarterback. Remember when that Trey Lance oh, guy went to San Francisco? Yeah. A bad quarterback. If you, if you have a bad quarterback, your team is not going to be very good. Like that, at the end of the day, that's it. Now the Vikings have a better situation around McCarthy than everyone, but ultimately this team is going to end up on JJ McCarthy being someone who can complete, you know, complete basic concepts that O'Connell's going to like O'Connell will draw people open. Can McCarthy make the throw? That's basically where we're at. 
and there's not a lot of there's not a lot of tape on him. Uh, so so ultimately, I, it's on JJ to succeed from here. But yeah, I am thrilled that we have someone who seems very smart, seems like a great teammate, great hard worker. Just a matter of going out and doing it now, which which is is in question. I think that, JJ so McCarthy. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I love the fit. Right? What does JJ McCarthy do best? The answer is middle of the field time throws. Yeah. What does Kevin O'Connell want to do? Middle of the field time throws. Yeah. 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 I I I view JJ McCarthy a little bit like a uh, like a better Bo Nix, where his his elite game is is shorter, more intermediate, middle of the field. But in that sense, he's very accurate. And I think these types of weapons, especially a guy like Jordan Addison, who likes to run those kind of routes, Justin Jefferson, best best receiver in football. I see it working out very well for JJ McCarthy. McCarthy protects the ball too. I, I was really getting he's smart. Yeah, he's smart. Yeah, I, I didn't like. I actually good with his likes as well. I love how we're just going to keep hyping up JJ McCarthy on this show uh, over the off season. But I, I also was I wasn't getting frustrated. But a lot of people were making fun of the Vikings for that pick. I mean, dude, Ziggy, I I don't think I told you guys this yet, but I got the run of texts on my phone whenever the Vikings do something stupid is crazy. And for JJ McCarthy, I mean, I just had a list on my phone. Every single one, it, it maybe one or two pick, uh, one or two texts said, "Hey, congrats!" Like, like, love this guy. Every other one, dude, I'm so sorry, so sorry about this. Oh my gosh, Vikings, what are you doing? Ha 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 ha! I was like, what? What are you guys? What is everyone talking about here? You want you want us to roll out Darnold and 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 that's it for the future? Like, we had we had to do this. A lot of people like this guy. It's a little bit of an overdraft, but. I got, is it even that much like he's a polarizing prospect a lot of people had him as number three or four yeah i i liked i like i was very happy with it and I, the, again the fact that we didn't if we had traded up to five and sold the farm for mccarthy then maybe we were sitting here going okay we could regret this but even if he stinks like you have to you have to roll the dice at some point so i, I was totally okay with it and uh i think the vikings are in a position where if mccarthy can come in at some point or you know, it's going to be donald to start the year but you know, with McCarthy there at some point in the season, I'm expecting him to play. Yeah, you know, this I think this team is close to a wild card contention again. But the defense needs to take some steps, and McCarthy needs to as well before that's a realistic conversation. 